expensive to run a Catholic school. Now, I'm not here to summarize things. What I'm trying to say to you, friends, is fellow workers, I'd like you to really picture what Agnes is giving is, or simply what ADP is. Because it's not coming from a vacuum that said, oh, let's just build a school and let's make it Agnes. Let's have all this accreditation and we become one of the best in top universities. So, something like that. We have a mission to eat. And having said this, the writer of opinions were saying, in the Seventh day Adventist Church, it is arguably the single best and most expensive church enterprise in existence. Do you know that? Seventh-day Adventist runs the most number of parochial schools or church-based school next to the Catholic faith. Among the Protestants, we have overtaken the Baptist and the Methodist. Our numbers are way beyond their numbers. Consider with me. Let me give you a quick number so you understand before we go to theories and everything and friends. Consider with me some statistical reports, and this is important. When you look at this statistical report, when you look at tertiary institutions, okay, workers training institution, and other institutions that are associated with training education and our secondary schools from a humble beginning in the 1800s with one gradually the numbers started to become more and more if you look at our number of institutions as a church compared to food industries to hospitals clinics and publishing houses the church runs more schools than other institutions that we have. Correct? We have close to 3,000 schools. This does not include elementary schools. Okay? This is only secondary and tertiary schools and training institutions. That's how big and massive Adventist education is. When you look further and try to deduce the things and look at the numbers, the tertiary institutions in our statistical report, we have how many tertiary institutions? 118 colleges and universities. How many teachers? Close to 15,000. Enrollment for tertiary education? 162,000. The secondary, by the way, is around 634,000. Our elementary schools, by the way, the enrollment of our elementary schools has two point, sorry, one point two enrollment. That's a big number. So what I'm trying to say to you, friends, the church caters to people, especially the young minds, and look at these numbers. The students that comes to your classes. How many classes uh, a usual CSP professor would have? Six. Six. Average uh, enrollment, not the service person. Average enrollment between five with one unit, so it's just this event. I'm just teasing you. Uh, it's a concern, and we're trying to find ways, okay? Uh, trust me. 
Sir Valera is fighting and trying to find ways also in the committees. Uh, that's outside the outside the lecture today. But how many students? Yes, the pandemic has been challenging, but in a regular semester, how many students did, would you have? Tell me. 35, the average of 35 in each class. So if that's 6, do the math, uh, sir, Kat, 6 times 35. 200. 200. Okay. With this number of people coming to your class, it is an encounter of that student, of that number of students, to a Christ representative. Do you, you follow me? I'm not making all your classes into a theology class, no. But I'm making all your 